In today's weather lab, we're going to do a little experiment to show you how to make your own convection circulation cell. And what that is, is showing how hot air rises and cold air sinks in the atmosphere. So what's going to represent our atmosphere is this container full of lukewarm water. And by the way, the atmosphere really is just a big container of water, but it's water that's invisible that we can't see that's floating in the air. Now what's going to represent, represent our cool water are these blue ice cubes, which I made earlier today. I put some water in, in the cup, added a little bit of blue food coloring, and then I froze it. That's going to be our cold water. Then I'm also going to add in our container, our atmosphere, a little bit of red food coloring, and that's going to represent the warm water. Now I'm going to use these tongs to put in our cold water because I don't want it to move the water all that much. Now what's going to happen is that is going to slowly melt. And on the other side, I'm going to put a little bit of red food coloring. And this might take us a few minutes, but eventually we're going to make a cell. And I'm going to add a little bit more of my ice water to this other side. And now we wait for the magic to happen. Look at the bottom of our container. Do you see how the blue dye is dropped all the way to the bottom and moved over to the right? That is the, the same thing that happens with cold air that is heavy and sinks in the atmosphere. And as it sinks and moves, notice that the red dye is moving towards it. So this is the same thing that happens in the atmosphere when we have cold air sinking and warm air rising. The warm air rising is like a thunderstorm, and that's exactly what we just made here, that convection cell, that circulation pattern. So that's today's weather lab, and don't forget you can see all of my weather labs on my Facebook page at Dr. Jim Fox 26.